Applied scientific research and technology transfer are the principal missions of the public research centre Gabriel Lippmann. Created in 1987, the centre develops new technological competences aimed at reinforcing the economic fabric of the country by the transfer of this knowledge to businesses. The goal, therefore, is to bring together economic utility and scientific excellence. This approach makes it possible to rapidly valorise research results as they are directly transferable to businesses or industries. This is how the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann puts knowledge and competences of multidisciplinary teams of researchers at the disposal of the economic players from Luxembourg and the surrounding regions, but also worldwide. Through this, real collaborations are initiated. The scientists bring concrete solutions to their partners. To fully achieve their mission, the researchers have access to laboratories and technical platforms equipped with cutting-edge technologies. Today, the staff of the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann counts more than 200 researchers from almost 30 countries. The ultimate objective is a team of 300 scientists. The centre focuses its research along three major axes sustainable management of natural resources and their valorisation, innovative materials technologies and technologies for the information society. Materials science is today at the heart of industrial innovation. The development or optimization of materials like metals, ceramics, polymers, composites or nanomaterials have been at the origin of technical advances in all fields of economy. New materials offering new functionalities are created every day with better performances, opening up the path towards innovative applications. Since 1992, a team from the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann has been specialising in materials and today has achieved international recognition in their field. Thanks to the centre's unique instruments available in the surrounding regions, the centre accompanies more than 100 industrial and academic partners in their research strategies. The centre offers a vast range of services, including the analysis of all types of materials, instrument development, the development of nanomaterials and surface treatments. Its impressive range of instruments also make it possible for the centre to respond to any type of request, such as that of Goodyear, for whom the Public Research Centre's scientists developed a surface treatment for the steel wire used in the structure of tyres. The surface of the wire is modified with a rare gas energised between two electrodes, which produces what is known as plasma. Steel wire treated in this way has interesting new properties for the development of continually safer new tyres. The range of possibilities on offer and the renown of the centre's researchers made it possible to attract the European Research Centre of the company Novelis. The world leader in aluminium foil production signed a private-public partnership agreement with the centre. This agreement envisages in particular the placing of Novelis research teams in the buildings of the public research centre Gabriel Lippmann. In this way they will profit from its technological platforms and the experience of its scientists. So it's not rare to see samples of aluminium foil or cans of soda being analysed in the famous secondary ion mass spectrometers. The goal? To study the composition of the upper layers of the aluminium foil to a scale of a few nanometers. Now just imagine that a nanometer is 50,000 times smaller than the diameter of a hair. At this scale, the analyses make it possible for the researchers to improve in particular the resistance, the quality and the aspect of the aluminium foil. The sustainable management of natural resources and their valorisation has constituted one of the pillars of the centre since its creation. Studies of aquatic or terrestrial ecosystems, sustainable management of land, application of biotechnologies in the agricultural and forestry sectors, renewable energy resources, biopolymers or even nutrition and toxicology are all areas of expertise where the researchers excel. Let's take the example of water studied in all its forms. The centre oversees the biological quality of Luxembourg's rivers. In order to do this, the specialists collect small organisms living in the riverbeds called diatoms and macroinvertebrates. After sorting them in the lab, the specimens are identified under a binocular microscope. The habitats of the species present are reported and analysed to determine their quality as well as the quality of the water. 
Another means of studying water quality is electrofishing. This technique allows the temporary immobilization of fish, which can be returned to the water without harm a few moments later. The composition and age of the populations of aquatic life present give useful indications of the quality of the water in our rivers. This type of follow-up is known as biological, as opposed to a chemical analysis, by which the presence of pollutants are detected, but not necessarily their impact on the environment. Another team at the centre carries out chemical water analyses in order to supervise the pollution level in the waters of the city of Luxembourg. Samples are collected directly from the source, but also from below ground. This is because surface water constitutes one of the dangers which threatens the quality of the water that's consumed by tens of thousands of Luxembourgers every day. This water seeps through the earth to join the groundwater, mixing with the substances they meet on their journey. As a result of these analyses of groundwater, the scientists can suggest a plan of action to the farmers who work the ground on the surface, so they can modify, for example, the type of fertiliser used, so as not to deteriorate the quality of the water source. In addition to the water quality of the country, the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann also supervises its quantity. To achieve this, the centre has a vast network of measuring devices distributed across Luxembourg's entire river network. This equipment makes it possible to know specifically in real time the level and flow of the rivers. This enables analysts to anticipate and chart floods and zones at risk. In the field of the environment, water is obviously not the only concern of the teams at the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann. Other economic actors in the area call upon the competences of the centre, such as, for example, Luxembourg wine producers. For years, the wine producers have fought against a defect in the aroma of wine that occurs during production, which comes from vines whose bunches have a very compact structure and which seems to be associated with the development of grey mould on the vines. This was studied in detail by the researchers from the centre, from the vineyard all the way to the laboratory. Various tests have been devised, aimed at developing a treatment of the vines which is likely to vary the compactness of the bunches during their development. This will therefore avoid or delay the appearance of the microorganisms responsible for this aroma defect. Since the end of the 20th century, the European states started to reduce their production of greenhouse effect gases. They started to massively subsidise alternative energies like biogas. Biomethanization units were installed, such as here in Kaland. They transform energy plants in a digester, a heated tank in which bacteria transform corn or sunflower seedlings into biogas. Scientists from the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann supervise this process and give expert advice to help optimise production. In the neighbouring fields, the scientists cultivate various energy plants like corn, sunflower or sorghum in test areas to determine their potential in terms of production of biogas. The biomass generated per hectare is measured. The goal is to find alternatives to corn, the culture of which causes effects such as soil erosion. In their laboratory, the researchers meticulously study the potential of biogas production of various food plants, but also waste from forage plants and waste resulting from the agricultural sector or food industries. The biogas produced by the work of the bacteria is recovered in special bags. The researchers can then measure the volume as well as the CO2 and methane rates released. In this way, they determine the effectiveness of the various plants or waste and can optimise the production of biogas. In addition to the environment and materials, new information and communication technologies constitute the centre's third research axis. This is where information system modelling and architecture is dealt with, as well as other forms of computer engineering. A research team worked on the development of an innovative data processing architecture allowing the diffusion and filing via the internet of various video recordings carried out within the framework of the activities of the Chamber of Deputies. The results are clearly visible to all, as internet users can now easily find online the reports of meetings of the Chamber of Deputies or consult the files of old meetings. 
Since going online, the system has evolved and developed. Users can now subscribe to a newsletter so they can follow the evolution of a bill, find questions and statements from a certain deputy, or even carry out searches by file number. It's a question of evolving or developing the system in order to take into account the recent projections of internet use. New functionalities such as the inclusion of video, podcasts, and taking into consideration the growing importance of smartphones makes it possible to interest the public even more in the parliamentary process and its fundamental role in the democratic system. For this project, as for all of the missions which are entrusted to the centre, the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann is at the forefront of research and technology. Today it has positioned itself as an effective actor, bringing made-to-measure solutions to its partners. Combining socio-economic purpose and scientific excellence, an art in which the Public Research Centre Gabriel Lippmann excels.